I guess raw aggressive expansion decay is probably a good idea now that we're raiding. Looks like that province modifier blocks you from raiding the same place over and over again. Although I, I can't... I don't know. Ah, port raided. Yeah. Whoa! Okay, why am I why am I having a hard time reading this? Like, how many slaves are we getting? <laughs> There's five lines. Macedonian slave moves to Pella. Three? Is it three more? Just the localization here seems kind of silly. Why not just say Macedonian citizen in Tripoli moves to Pella and becomes a slave? One line, you know? All the slaves. Now this compared to regular expansion as far as like population growth is pretty dumb, pretty bad, pretty slow. Look, we're already losing research efficiency. And yet, I do think that playing tall is fine. We're on tech 7778 versus Thrace's 1122. <laughs> getting all these slaves and forcing them to work in the, in the wine fields. <laughs> also known as grapes or vineyards, but... I feel like this thing should scale in price based on the number of slaves you're getting. Paying 25 flat? Just, it's just kind of tedious, so I've got to look for the, the good sea tiles. Why not just make it a fixed number based on number of slaves? This is still just two of them, I'm assuming, it looks like. We raid Rome. Of course. If that's where we'd like you guys want to raid, we'll raid Rome. Which part of Rome is the question? And I guess more importantly, is there a sea tile that has enough ports to justify it? Which <laughs> which sea tile all of them. I got it, okay. Look at them all! Did you see them all? The Olympics were concluded, and we have done a thing! Yay! Free sap, cool. Click? Yes, I'll take the click. It's only a couple citizens! Slaves, I mean... That's better. This reminds me of playing as like the Berbers. In E4. Oh crap! <laughs> My fleet of 57 ships has no morale because I don't pay them. <laughs> We're defeated! Run away! <laughs> All we do is pick up slaves, okay? This is the slave barge. Oh, this is kind of silly if you think about it. Slaves! Pella now has 120 people. More marketplaces. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a lot of aggressive expansion, I'll give you that. 
it's kind of affecting wrong culture group happiness and, you know, wrong culture happiness. But, the slaves! I guess the real indicator, the one that's actually kind of important, is um, the amount of aggressive expansion you're going to gain just tells you like how much money, how many slaves you're going to get, right? Four aggressive expansion equals three slaves, right? Three is not bad, but... It's hard to tell. There's probably like some really good sea tiles that I'll memorize in the future. For now, I guess we'll take this one. Hey, look, people are bribing us, giving us money. <gasps> Slaves. They want our wine. Nice. Our 23 pop beer. We did raid Egypt. We burned everything down we could. Carthage is on tech 2. This guy's actually on tech 4. He's doing a decent job. Egypt's on tech 4. Except we're on tech 8, so, you know. So it's kind of... Kind of sad. Hella now has 129 pops. We're gonna go, we're gonna get so many damn marketplaces. I just love it too, like the citizens, like that little smiley face, they're just like laughing. Ah, we're so happy, we love being here. It's funny. I find it funny, do you find it funny? You should find it funny. Because it is funny. So we did nothing for like 40 years and now we have 36 aggressive expansion from raiding. It's just a little aggressive, okay? It's fine. Notice how quickly we're knocking the research efficiency down, though, just by... by adding more slave pops. Like randomly growing the wrong pops. Fixed? Fixed. Good. Can you use the macro builder to promote? Um, you can. You can promote Freeman this way, but. Yeah, I guess that is probably a better way of doing it. Oh yeah. Good call, way easier. Bum bum bum. So basically we've got point sinks for everything now. Military points go into raiding. <laughs> Civic power goes into uh, advancements. Inventions. Oratory power goes into promotions, and religious power is going to go into, like, conversions and junk. I wonder how high I can get my aggressive expansion before somebody does something about it. <laughs> it does say if it goes above 50, there will be some severe penalties that kick in. Would you like to know what they are? <laughs> Let's find out! <laughs> Oh my god, look at all the people! Six aggressive expansion! Yes, you may have my wine. Slavery. My my winery slaves. Let's go over 50, but like... 
not by too much. Just just go over it by a little bit, you know? The grass is greener. Oh, yeah, okay. Ooh, research points. I don't need them right now, but it kind of prevents me from having to do more promotion. On the other hand, anything we could invent that helps out with aggressive expansion would also be nice. Yeah, I'll probably just take the research points. Forty-four aggressive expansion. Forty-eight. <laughs> This would put us at 48... 50.21 if we had the points for it, but we don't, so we gotta do a 3. Yeah, we're currently 84 years ahead of time on tech, but we're about to, to get the tech, which means we're actually about 100 years ahead of time on tech. Probably. Pushers just died. Oh, sad. He, he did a good job. He got us nicely ahead of time. Alright, so this will put us above 50, barely. This changes by 0.17. Power costs are now up by 1.1%, which is exactly double the excess over 50. We've also picked up primary culture happiness minus 0.2. That was not there before. Wrong culture group happiness minus 50. Wrong culture happiness minus 25. <laughs> it was nowhere near that big a minute ago. It's huge. <laughs> like, they were kind of mad, but not 75% reduced happiness. You know? Like, look at these 109 slaves who are, like, really mad. <laughs> They're also starving, apparently. We've grown... <laughs> we've gained too much. Alright, we need to trade for more food. That or just move, we can move some of the slaves away. Yeah, let's try out like the grain stacking maybe. Do we have any grain in farmlands? We do. Aceros. Slaves needed for local surplus minus two. So we only need 11 here. So we're going from Pella to Aceros. But first, ooh, here's an idea. First, what if we queue up the buildings, then we move the pop away? Hmm. Let's move four. There, no more starving. Be happy. Nice, we actually got just barely enough to get the, the grain surplus. Which will help out as well. Stacking grain surplus. Kinda tempted actually, like like seriously, like if you did nothing but produce. What what went out? Oh. Did we just lose our crap? We just lost our omen, I just spent all my points. Damn it. Damn it! I need an omen! They're expensive. So we have 14 out of 14 buildings, but notice how it's got that 2 there? It's still queued up. Or were we already higher? Yeah, I'm aware that there are edicts, but the problem is that it takes too long 
to raise your civilization value. I feel like we pretty much have to keep civilization value edict on like all the time. You think that shaved the building off and kept a queue? Hmm. That's not good. Why do we have a new trade route? Oh yeah, hemp, hemp sounds fine, I guess, whatever. Import food stuff? Eh. Pella's gonna be mad until I can do something like... Food stuff's only gonna be 0.06, it's not enough to offset it. I can either move a whole bunch of pop away... If it did shave a building off, that's kind of annoying. I think we'll just keep stockpiling the cash, buy some more religious power, and we'll get the edict on soon-ish. Oh wow, okay, I guess I was wrong. It, it was actually still 75% reduced happiness. Wow. So the only new thing then was the all power costs, and wasn't there a second one that was new as well? <laughs> Lose religious power? Uh, you, uh, can I have one where I gain religious power? I mean... Damn it! No, I need the religious power, you bastards. Almost all Paradox games are mostly tied to CPU. And, uh, even though I've had two weeks to adjust and, like, try to set stuff up in the new office, new house, I'm still using Fredegar. I shouldn't be, but I am. I didn't have any internet, so I couldn't, like, download games on the new computer, and I couldn't just, like, transfer them via local network. So... That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Looks like we might actually be on track to get to the maximum civilization value here. We're at 68 out of 70. So we could consider switching off of the civilization effort now. And do something else like... I mean, we do have a lot of wrong... Culture? Mostly, Pops? Culture's incorrect. The religion's mostly fixed. So we could do cultural assimilation. So, I don't know. What are your thoughts? We've declared no wars. We are on tech 8, almost 9, versus our neighbors at 1 and 2. I think playing tall is valid. I, I, I think it works. I think... Arguably, it's optimal. Besides, we, we make... Look at all these trade routes. Look at all this crap we export. <laughs> we make so much money from just sitting around doing nothing. Like, why do you need to expand? I don't know. <laughs> Wrong culture group happiness would actually be quite good with all the slavery. Alright, I'm gonna get enough points to enact the, uh, the omen. And then I think we're going to take a save of this playing tall campaign, and then let's change gears and go back to, like, the beginning of the game and, and try out just, like, a rapid expansion strategy. I've, I've played it before. I'm, I'm going to show you what I do and why I think that it's valid. Barbarians? No, not again. They're arriving in Herlkinsness. You're gonna make me pay my army? I don't like paying my army. <laughs> Think about all the money we've saved by not paying them. <laughs> it's been great.
Man, they, they loot like crazy, man. I did not give myself enough time to recover morale there. We're gonna lose again. It's fine. We, we make love, not war. Craft. So the way that you handle barbarians, aside from just fighting them, you see here there's like this barbarian power modifier, civilization value. So like every month, uh, there's a barbarian's map mode. That's their power. So right now barbarian power goes up because there's this modifier called barbarian stronghold. Okay, it's impassable terrain, you can't do anything about it. What you do is if you increase the civilization of the provinces adjacent to it, you can raise civilization value here. I believe if you force the Civilization Effort Edict. See there in that tooltip, it says 6.9% increase of the civilization level of adjacent barbarian strongholds by two. So you run that edict adjacent to this. Clearly right here would be great between two places. And then that raises the civilization value, which then reduces barbarian growth rate. Yeah, I put the entire army, the pure cab army, on Phalanx. Why wouldn't I? Give 75% bonus. And I assumed, let me see if I was right, that the barbarians would use... Where, why is there no... there. So, we're the aggressor, we're on the top. They used shock action. Phalanx has a bonus of 18% against Shock Engine, and if they're using Shock Action against Phalanx, they take a minus 10%. So, I didn't remember to do it on the primary army, but had I done it, it was the right call. They would have used... we would have had like an 18.7% bonus, while they would have had a minus 10% penalty. It would have been good. I hadn't messed it up. Just split off all of the non-loyal armies. We can have an omen, please. I think the capital is still shrinking, technically. Just kind of dumb. We shouldn't let that happen. There. Capital's happy now. And for some reason, these slaves are, like, not happy to live here or something. There is no macro builder for moving. You can promote, convert, assimilate, but you can't move them easily. Slaves become freemen. Yeah, all right, sure, whatever. That's a pretty big Pella. All right. So that's uh, Macedonia tall. Macedonia, Macedonia, Macedonian, whatever. Our score is 1717. I don't know what we actually start at. We start at 625. So, I was in like, you start at 7th place and we got up to 2nd place just by... Declaring no wars! I <laughs> didn't declare any wars! And then, well, I mean, we did get like 50 aggressive expansion for raiding all of the things, but um... Let's see. So today was all about playing tall, tech, how pops work, and like, how you get trade good bonuses and stuff. Um, 
the idea of like how you move your slaves around in order to hit those breakpoints on on production per province or per city rather I think is like really important and what we'll do for the next session is going to be combat combat tactics unit types pips all of the math we can figure out on everything I've already done most of the calculations and like played around with it a lot so there won't be much that I'm learning it'll just mostly be educational but um I, d I don't think I have the energy to do that today guys I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Have a good night. Majahapit. Mapajahit. Mahapajit. Mapajahit. Mahajapit. Majahapit.